happy Wednesday. I'm drinking my energized, getting ready to do my workout, but I wanted to touch base with you all. It's Thanksgiving week. Okay. So I spent some time sitting down, just thinking about how crazy this week can be, how wonderful it can be. And also how almost in a way, like it can bring anxiety and dread for those of us that are on this journey because we're kind of, we're scared of eating all the things, of feeling like crap, of, of being regretful. Uh, We're just, we're kind of nervous about making the right decisions and doing the right thing. And I was thinking about how I don't feel that way anymore because of some of the mindset work I've done because of all the experience on this journey. And I want to be here today to just maybe help you know, like what to think going into some of these events and these gatherings, if you're, if you're having them, um, how to navigate some real tangible tips on things that I do to navigate all the food and all the people and all the things. Okay. And so I hope that this really helps you. I know some of you are in a really great headspace when it comes to your journey and you feel so confident going into this week and some of you aren't and, and sometimes that can derail us or make us feel frustrated. And the last thing I want is for you to feel frustrated. I honestly, I like, I have this, this vision where we all like, not just, we don't just get through this week, but we like thrive through this week. And we wake up on Monday and we're so proud and we can't wait to tell everyone in this group, like how good we feel like that's my vision. And so I hope that with what I'm going to share with you, um, that that is the case for you, that that's your reality. But I also want to make sure you, you know, like this group is here for you. This group is here to give you ideas. So ask for ideas. If you need ideas on healthy ways to make green bean casserole, um, this group is here to support you when you're, when you're having a rough moment, you're not feeling motivated. You don't want to work out those kind of things. We're here to motivate you. So lean into this group this week, but also be here as a cheerleader for people this week, like lean in as well on both sides of that. Okay. So. Um, I wanted to tell, give you some tips about how to strategically handle the holiday. And this will obviously, if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving this week, you're, you're not in the United States, then this is going to apply to the whole season because there's, this is happening everywhere, right? There's food and there's treats everywhere. There's gatherings and parties. It's all starting. So it all begins with your thoughts. So when you walk into your Thanksgiving gatherings, your holiday gatherings and parties, it all starts with your thoughts. And, and for us, we have to be intentional about what we're going to think before we even walk in the door. Okay. It's kind of like, I know what's going to be there. I know what's going to happen. I know the people that are, that say rude comments to me. How am I going to handle this ahead of time? Here's some of my thoughts. I've got this. A few treats are okay. I'm going to have my own back. Having our own back is so important because that means that we are going to fight for ourselves. We're going to say no thank you if we want to say no thank you. We're going to get up early and work out no matter what anyone in the house thinks. You know, we're going to leave the house and go on a walk when everybody is sitting doing nothing and just looking at each other. We're going to have our own back. We're going to speak up for ourselves. Um, I'm working hard on myself and that's okay. I don't need anyone's approval to do what is best for me. My commitment is inspiring and might inspire someone else. This is only one day. Oh my gosh. You don't have to eat everything. Okay. I think about that. So I'm going to get into my tangible tips. So this week it's imperative to drink your water. So come up, think about what is your water intake goal and hold yourself to that. And on Thanksgiving or feast day or whatever is going to happen is we are going to probably have foods that cause a lot of inflammation. And so water will help you feel so much better. Move your body, no matter what, move your body, get in some movement, even if it's a walk outside with your family, but do movement, watch, watch and be cautious of being too sedentary this week. And when it comes to food, I have a couple of rules for myself. So I really lean into the things that I learned with the 2B mindset, water first, veggies most. 
I practice that at the Thanksgiving dinner table and it helps so much. Now, I also am really cautious about like, if it's about eating sweets that are store-bought. Okay. Because here's my thought on that. Like my mom makes a homemade pumpkin pie once a year. I'm absolutely going to have a slice of pumpkin pie. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share my treats. I'm going to eat them. But if it's somebody walked in the door with a store-bought pumpkin pie, I'm going to literally kind of like turn my nose up and be like, no, thank you. Like I could go out and buy that myself. And it's not special because you just went to Kroger and bought it. No, thanks. You guys eat it. If it's my grandma's like homemade cheesecake she makes once a year, I'm going to have some, but I'm going to share it. Okay. Because I don't want the whole thing. First of all, I just want to taste it. And she put her heart and soul into it. So I'm going to enjoy it. But there are certain things I don't care about. Like I'm not going to eat the mac and cheese because it's just mac and cheese. Okay. I am not going to eat the sweet potato casserole because I love sweet potatoes, but all this stuff and the marshmallows and the, and it, they came from a can and this and that. I'm like, uh, no, thanks. I'll pass on that. But I'm going to eat the green beans and I'm going to eat the turkey. I'm going to have a little bit of pumpkin pie. I don't eat gelled cranberries from a can because I'm like, those just flopped out of a can. You see what I'm saying? Like, I do have my food boundaries and I do perhaps get a little snooty when it comes to my food because I'm having my own back. I'm not worried about someone looking at my plate and seeing like, oh, Aaron doesn't have all of the things. I'm not worried about what anyone thinks about what is on my plate. I'm not worried about hurting anyone's feelings because this is food we're talking about. And I don't believe in, 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 um, shaming food, shaming people. And I don't want you to allow others to food shame you. And that is a choice you get to make on Thanksgiving. So when you walk in the door, have some thoughts, have some non-negotiables like your water and your movement, but also I want you to have your own back when it comes to food and have an idea and some boundaries of what you're willing to have and what you're not willing to have. And, and that goes for the rest of the week and all of the holidays too. And so I just wanted to pop on and tell you some of the things that I've learned, what goes in my head and what I am thinking when I walk into the door for any feast or festivity. And, um, and I hope that that helps you. And if you have anything that works for you, any food boundaries and rules that you have for yourself, any thoughts that you have for yourself, I would love for you to share them below. So I hope this was helpful today.